<laughs> this thing. Anyhow, I'm trying to get this. <laughs> that might have to be good enough. Let's see. Uh, yeah, looks like it might stay. All right, JD Nigel, word of truth. Um, I was just listening to uh, uh, Slock it. Uh, um, My brother, my roommate, <laughs> I like that, my roommate, we're in the same, we're in the same house, uh, me and Ahmad Gabar, out of Phoenix, you know, he was making some good points, um, before I get started, I'll praise his honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit, the three in one, like Ahmad was saying, it's, it's a, we're, we're spirits and um, we're part of the godly spirit and the part of the part that we need to understand is that we're um, we are the body of Christ we are the spirit of love we're the spirit of of God we're we that's the part that's where the the Bible has tricked people and people have tricked themselves into thinking that there's this God out there he's he's up in heaven he's floating around on a cloud or whatever the nonsense is that they tell themselves oh. this thing I don't know if it's going to work <laughs> cheap ass plastic stuff that I don't know how to work that well um, and he, he was making a good point about we you know sometimes I come off like um, I don't like GMS or I don't like these brothers the the thing that gets me is they don't they they talk about the Bible and they talk about God they they pretend like they're it's not that they're pretending. They actually believe some of the things that they say. And a lot of it has meaning. And it it has truth. A lot of it has truth. It's just... When when are they going to stop the, the nonsense? The, the Joseph is, is the father of Jesus and... And these are the things that that drive us to um, to act out of character. And you know, Ahmad and I understand some things that that a lot of these Hebrew Israelites don't understand. And that is, um, we have a power. And that power is in us. And that power, that's the power that that comforts us. That's the power that drives us crazy. That's the power that vexes us because we can't, we can't give you that power. We can't give you that feeling, that knowing that, um, like John said, um, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And and John the Baptist, he's he's making a path. He's clearing the, the space for you to, to find out who you are. Who are you in the Bible? You, you, every person who believes in the Trinity and the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ 
coming and dying for us as a man in the flesh. That's God giving himself up to us. And we, we understand that. As men of the Lord, we understand that. And we see you brothers, you're so close. You're so close to understanding these things, but there's there's something holding you back. There's there's the the ideas of men, the thoughts of men, um, have invaded your your thought processes. You listen more to each other than you listen to yourself, and you know, it, like Ahmad was saying that my roommate was saying how wisdom and knowledge. This cat is it reminds me of of King David a lot. He, he's sometimes he says, you know, I I feel like I'm King David. He's a lot like Peter. He's quick with the sword, and he's slashing everywhere. And it's it's a lesson to all of us that. You know, we all have that King David in us. We have, we all have a little bit of, of that spirit in us. That spirit that wants to, wants to take charge. Wants to make things right. Wants to, wants to knock out the bad guy. And, and I'm sure he could do it. And if he doesn't knock him out, he'll choke him out or kick him upside the head. And that fighting, that fighting mentality that he has is, is, I love it. It, it's entertaining. It's, it's everything Peter was. Peter, Peter didn't pull no punches. You know, he was, he was out there ready to, to know that what he did was what needed to be done. And we love you, wisdom and knowledge. It's just, um, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to say you're a funny guy because you are funny. You're you're very entertaining, but you're kind of funny too. But that's just who you are. We we all need to realize that we are we have we're not perfected yet. And I know I'm a I'm some kind of problem onto myself. God, this 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 isn't happening. Jeez, I'm just gonna leave it. Forget it. Um, enjoy the trees going by. Um, I'm getting ready to get on the freeway. Maybe that'll be different. But um, I I still have my I'm not I don't know at all. That's for darn sure. But what I'm trying to figure out is what's the bottom line. The bottom line is if we love each other and we and we all get on the same. See, the problem is we're not all on the same page. And if we're if we're if we're reading different things and we're believing different things, um, the power of the mighty man, the, the the power of Israel was dependent a lot on them standing together, believing the same thing, and that's that's what Ahmad. Um, you God people man people in there driving um I'm getting on this crazy freeway I gotta get out of town for a minute I I haven't I haven't been going anywhere I haven't been doing anything been working I've been doing these messages and uh I mean I love doing them uh, they took my channel down that kind of oh boy look at this traffic let me see if I can get this thing it's a mess I knew it was going to be like this so that's kind of why I just started started the message now um, so the thing is there's a lot of there's a lot of men teaching out here and there's a lot of men teaching uh, things that don't really matter you know I, I listen to Gabar because he's on my 
he's on my list. Um, a ROM mob, you know, if they would just leave the, the Negro thing alone for a minute, that Israel is Negroes, it would be, it would be really nice for them to just say, um, you know, I'd, I don't mind them talking about me. I don't, I wouldn't mind them saying, JD Nija, you're, you're some kind of weird kind of Israel that we don't understand or whatever it is that they would say about me. Um, but to, to just disregard me out and out because I'm not Negro and, and they, they don't, they don't see past the skin. They don't see that I might have something for them. It's like, I, I, I listen to them and I pick out the things that ring true with me and I throw the rest away. I, I eat the meat and I spit out the bones because a lot of it is just bones. And the reason it's bones is because they, they've got a bone to pick. And that's a, that's a sad place to be when you're in the spirit is picking bones. And that was part of what Ahmad's message was all about. He's saying, I don't have a bone to pick with anyone. Um, and I know some of the things my my Gentile brother, my roommate, is saying are, are, are true. And he can hear that spiritual um, indwelling that's in me. He can hear it. He can feel it. He knows it. It's, it's uh, what do they call it? What you, we're almost like psychic. We have, we have a connection that goes beyond being in the same, we, we're, in the, we're in the same house, we're roommates. We, we know what's going on with each other. And I'm sure there's a lot of times when, um, I've, I've noticed it before, we'll hit on the same subjects um, and that's in the same day, we probably didn't even know, listen to each other's videos yet but we were saying, we we're bringing up the same topic because the Lord's working with us in a way that's showing us you guys are on the right track. And so instead of, instead of GMS and, and some of these, I mean, Sakari and ISUPK and IUIC, these guys are just gone. Um, and I feel bad for the brothers that got sucked into that because what they're doing and instead of instead of bringing forth the truth um, for themselves, the, these camps are actually holding men back. They, you know, like GMS says, they want, they're looking for the elect. And what, what are you looking for them for, GMS? What, why are you looking for them? Are you looking for them so you can twist them and keep them from getting into the, into the kingdom? Cause that's how it feels. It feels like you're actually um, creating a, a a wall or or a net. You're netting you're netting some of our brothers that are wanting to raise their spirit into a higher place. Their spirit is longing to break out and be part of the body in a way that is meaningful, that has power, that, that is, that is edifying to themselves and to, to their fellow brother. There, there's things that these brothers are not being able to say. There's things that these brothers are not being able to bring out that are just, they, they're being tamped down in a way that they're, they're going away. The Lord's, like the Bible says, the Lord is going to take things away from you if you don't use them, if, if you don't, if you don't, how's it say it? Um, even, even for those that have much more will be given, but to those who don't have, even what they do have is going to be taken away. And that's what's happening to some of these brothers. And that's, that's why Ahmad and I get so mad my roommate because we can feel these spirits being depressed we can feel it we know it's happening because we're paying attention we're watching what's going on we don't like it and every now and then we have to get on here and we we lose it 
We, we, we act out of character. We're, we're, we've been saying it long enough and no one's even addressing us. You know, it's like, um, we address each other and these guys have addressed us very, very rarely and very, I mean, even my brother Jay Hall, he's been with me a long time. Um, he has a tendency to, well, I love you, brother. You're, you're, you're with, you're with me. I'm not, I would never turn my back on you. Um, but you're still saying that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rekakwadash nonsense. That's, I, I, I would have thought you would have came out of that by now. Um, for some reason you haven't, but the Lord's not going to hold that against you. But, um, these are the type of things that we have to be careful because we're actually holding ourselves back. And that, that's another reason why I got really upset about, um, about GMS is because when they came out and they said, we're Israel. It makes complete sense um, that there's some kind of, of Jew there. It's, it's, is it Judah? Is it Judah? Is it Judah? I think it could be Judah, Benjamin, and, and Levi. There's a certain amount of law going on there, but when you read into the scriptures and you read into the prophecies, you see that there's a lot of, like I was saying yesterday, I was reading in, um, I think we were in Ezekiel, and he was saying how the priest, the prophet, and the profane Levite are all going to be stuck in this sick place, or they're they've fallen into the the spell of these wicked legalists, and and they're they're more stuck in the carnal than they are in the spiritual. And that's why I, I, I jump all the way over into such a spiritual place. And I, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to push back against this carnal, this carnal belief system that these guys have that you have to stand in the law. You have to, yeah, you got to stand by the statutes and commandments. You can't wear a hat when you prophesy. You can't, these things are designed these things were designed to, to get silly women and men of no right mind to fall into this carnal law keeper belief system that just totally breaks your relationship with Jesus Christ and the in the Heavenly Father. You're you're all you're doing when you do that is saying Oh, I'm going to try better, Lord. I'm going to try better. You can't try better. There is no try. Like like Karate Kid, there is no try. There's only do. And that's what Ahmad, my roommate, was saying in his last video. He's like, you know what? You can't stop us. We're already doing what, what we're meant to do. There is no try. We're not trying. We're giving it an effort. We're putting effort because we're doing what the Lord told us to do. So there is an effort in our body and in our spirit and in our soul. We have to speak out of our mouth and we have to have air in our lungs to say it. But what we're saying is already been told. It's, it's nothing new. It's, it's the same story that we've been saying over and over again in every regeneration. And that's another thing that we're, GMS used to be masters of of regeneration they were and then what they they make a couple mistakes and now now they won't you know they they got into that oh, well our men are this man and our man is this man yeah their man is that man just to, to a point but you can't unless the, unless the man is saying it themselves the Lord told me who I am and this is why he told me that um, we're actually if you're of the Holy Spirit, you're you're of all the spirits in the Bible. That's why your name is written in the book. Your name is in the book because you are those spirits. 
but there's certain ones that he wants you to identify with so you know what type of warrior you are. Um, Benjamin's not, Benjamin wasn't the best tribe as far as keeping their nose out of everyone's business. We were very, very wanted to be seen. We wanted to be known. We wanted, and the Lord gave us a lot of that to teach us a lesson. We were well known. We were known as the ones that you don't want to fuck with. But as time's gone on, that's made me realize, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to be that guy. I don't have to be the one that, that no one, that everyone's afraid to fuck with. Just, just fuck with me and then find out for yourself what the Lord has for you. That's, I'm letting him do my fighting now. And, and that's, that's one of my biggest, um, confessions is as a Benjamite, I have to let the Lord fight my battles. I can't, I can't be getting in front of him like I did with when I was Adonijah and, and getting in front of my father and getting in front of my brother and going, no, I know better. I, I, I've got to fight against that every day. Um, being Mr. Know-it-all and I'm trying, I'm, I'm doing, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it because if the Lord, if the Lord was making me say anything that was getting anyone stirred up, they, they would be getting stirred up. I, I can't, I can't even stir a cup of coffee. It seems like. And so in this regeneration, he's making, he's making me lay back and let, he's saying, I'm doing the work here. You're just my servant. Do what I say. And that's what I do. I do what he says. And I let the Bible speak. And I don't, I don't, very seldom will I push a mess, message because he doesn't want me to push, push the message that's on my mind. He wants me to push the message that's on his heart. He's like, just say what I want you to say. It doesn't matter how many views you get. It doesn't matter whether the, the man, these, these heathens out here are going to be able to take it or not. Um, you just say what I, what I tell you to say, and we'll clean up the mess later. And so I, the point I wanted to get to was what Ahmad was saying. My, my roommate, um, never leaves a mess. He's another one. He doesn't leave a mess. The Lord doesn't let him leave a mess. Everything he says is true and faithful to what the Lord's having him say. And I can hear that. And that's why I don't listen to all his messages because I don't, there's nothing there that's going to be different than anything I say. It's, it's like listening to myself and it's like, I don't listen to my own videos. I just say what the Lord told, tells me to say. So being roommates, we know what we're saying. We're saying, we're saying the similar thing. We're on the same page. We're like David and Jonathan. We don't argue about what the book says. The book says the same thing to us. Same as it said the last time and the time before that and the time before that. And the ability for us to understand what's going on is beyond what even men like Tahar, Gabar, they're stuck. They have some places where they're very stuck. And it's not that I don't love those men. I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk about them all the time if I didn't have some affinity towards them. But I just wish that the love that that me and my roommate have for these guys was as strong back towards us as the love we have for them. Um, they don't take into consideration that maybe someone else might be right. Their pride, their pride stands in the way of them actually feeling um, the power of the Holy Spirit. And this whole Joseph is the son of, is the as the father of Jesus thing. That's an antichrist spirit that um, that is on them that they won't they won't address it in this Gentiles thing. They already are if they are who they say they are. 
they're already at a place that doesn't need to be defended. I don't need to defend myself. I don't, I like, like my roommate was saying, we don't need, we don't care what you people think about us. We, we want you to love us like we love you. We want you to understand that we actually care for you. We care for your spirit, your soul. We're watching over your souls. We've been here a long ass time doing this. And it's never been easy and it's never been fun, but it's always been rewarding because we can't do anything other. We're, all, we're always gonna return and wear the crown. We, we, were, we were born to wear the crown. And what we do, what, what do we do every time? We cast our crowns. We cast our crowns before everyone. They, we're just like our, our brother. We cast our crown because we care that much. We're sacrificing and we're hurting and we're praying and we're moving in the spirit to bring illumination of who the Holy Spirit is and who your God is and who you are. And that's the message for, for today. I'm running out of time. Traffic opened up. I'm rolling towards the beach. Um, once I get to uh, Doheny, I'll do another message. Thanks for listening. All praises, honor, and glory. Um, the Lord loves you. I love you, brothers and sisters. Peace and grace. I'm out.